Thursday's downpour, which started around 3 a.m., flooded homes and an orphanage in Damango, the Savannah Regional Capital. It will be recalled that last month, a rainstorm caused the roofs of hundreds of homes in the town to be ripped off. This time around, the rains caused heavy flooding, a situation residents say is the first time witnessing such an incident. At about uh, 5 a.m., we heard voices outside, people shouting, water, water, water. Before we opened our door, the water had entered inside and the whole place was flooded. You see where the trees are? That's where the water got. So people had to come and pull us from this building outside. So we've been here for two years. This is the first time such a thing is happening. The water was around my level. It was around this level. So I ran into pick my goat and the kid because it just delivered this thing. So when I went in, I didn't see the kid. So our landlord brother had that thing there. And the other fowl that was suspended on top of the water. I picked them and said that the fowl went in slowly. Officials of the National Disaster Management Organization and the National Fire Service who were on hand to rescue some victims say they are still assessing the situation. We had a distress call at the office this morning that there's flood around the um, children's home area. So we quickly responded to their call. We came and we have made assessment about five or six buildings are affected. People's property has been distracted now. Um, no life has been lost as it stands now. Mm. So that is our uh, initial assessment for now. It's very worrying because, uh, you know, people of this area, I mean, the, 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 the condition is no good. And when these things keep happening, it, it becomes a worrying situation to us because, uh, as you can see, most people's houses have been flooded, I mean, have been destroyed. Items in their room have been destroyed and also on. So it's, it's a worrying situation for the people of uh, this community. Hours after the water has receded, residents are counting their losses. Meanwhile, the regional NADMO coordinator, Mohamed Toher, wants the municipal assembly to demolish buildings that are being developed on waterways to avert future situations. I think what we need to work on is the drainage system. And then on the waterway, people developing closer to the waterways. Uh, those who have already developed, we have to relocate them. And those who have not developed, we have to advise uh, the town and country planners not to release those pieces of land to people because it blocks the easy flow of the water. And that actually causes the kind of disaster that we see. Though it rained heavily, but if the drainage system were accurate and then there were no building along the waterways, I think there would have been free flow of water, which wouldn't have affected so many houses.